language, and, and I explained today that I wrote it in um, um, Wisconsin originally with my best friend from high school. His name is Myron Piawasset. He grew up in uh, Neopet, Wisconsin, but Neopet has another edge on the reservation, which is the very traditional village. And uh, there was no running water up there, and um, no electricity, and it was just, it was all done by spirit up there. It was an awesome way to live. And, and when I was there, I really didn't, it really didn't matter just the way we lived, you know? And we heated our own water, we took our own baths that way, we had outdoor toilets, and, and we had uh, candles and lanterns for lights. And we played football. After playing football in Shano, we'd go back 40 miles to the rest. And we'd play again until 8 or 9 at night, like crazy idiots, you know? But at least we weren't getting into too much trouble. We played out there, and, and uh, but the, the thing was that we played out there in, the, in those early 70s, uh, we get attacked by the Wisconsin State bird, the mosquito. <laughs> There's so many up there, man. You could, I mean, seriously, you look like Frankenstein. They hit me in the head, you know, and stuff. So many times we'd be like, <laughs> and uh, so we'd be like, uh, man, let's get something to deal with these mosquitoes. So we took a bunch of Folgers coffee cans, the big ones, and we'd get 30 of them on one side of the field and 30 on the other and put smudge pots and it would be all smoky. So they nicknamed the town Smoky Town from us guys lighting the fires to play football. And uh, so we were outside at night and it's smoky everywhere. And Myra and I, we were, we were good friends and said one day, you know, um, Bill, you're going to, you know, always tell me, he says, you're, you're going to be the king, man. You always call me the king because I used to do some old stuff. <laughs> so, um, and, and we used to sing. And Myra had a really high voice. He was a really big dude. Back then, I wasn't as big as I am now, man. Back then, I was six feet tall, but I weighed 128 pounds. I just looked like a, a heroin addict. <laughs> he, he was a big dude. You know, all those big power singers are big. They don't have any necks. They're huge Indian guys. Like, and they sing like, <laughs> like opera singers, you know? He was like that. And he was, he was great, a real tough guy. So he, we would sing at night when we were 17 years old. We'd sing not knowing that he was going to be one of the best traditional singers from that area. Smithsonian would make a record on him. And he would start a revival in, in our reservations up there to sing traditional songs with the youth in the early 70s. We were, we were taking the drum back. It was awesome. But before we did that, we'd sit up there in our bedroom and we'd go, How can you make a broken heart? How can I lose a heroin? How can you stop the sun of shining? What makes the world go round? And, and how can you mend a broken heart? Is it man? How can I lose a ever win? Please help me mend this broken heart and let me live a singing in northern style. Now there's two styles of singing on the drum in Indian country. In the southern style, I'm in the south now. I've been living in the south 27 years and I've, I've toured the south and the southland and, and also Mississippi. I'm playing a big casino next month and I just played uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. There were some southern Indians down there and in Navajo country. They all sing differently. Like for instance, they sing like this. It's, it's cool. It's pretty. It's nice in Oklahoma they sing like this. It's a lower type of singing. It's called southern style. They sing like this. You know, like that. And, and it's cool because I think they sing like that because it's so freaking hot, though. They're like, you know, hey, oh, it's high, oh, it's high. I'm going to lay down, oh, I need some red seeds. And you know, it's low. But up here, with 40 below zero, <laughs> we sing differently. <laughs> you know, it's like that. Because <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> we sing differently. <clears throat> I'm going to sing you a song in a northern style. 